Well, clearly our top focus. It is D-Day in America. The entire world is watching. Who will be the 47th president of U.S. as the future of America hangs in balance? Now, polling has closed in most states and first results have already started to come in. Now, Trump has taken an early lead against Kamala Harris in the high-stakes presidential match. Now, let's tell you, according to early vote counts, Trump has secured wins in red states of Kentucky, Indiana and West Virginia and also in his home state, Florida. On the other hand, Kamala Harris has sealed Democratic strongholds of Vermont, Maryland, Massachusetts and Delaware. However, these are only early vote returns. These in no way indicate who will win the White House. Now, either of them will need to cross the magic number of 270. In fact, the final polls will close at around 11.30 a.m. Indian Standard Time. Now, the most important issue according to latest exit polls, let's break that down for you, are economy, state of democracy, followed by abortion and immigration. Now, let's also tell you as far as Donald Trump is concerned, he looks confident of a victory like always. In fact, in a TikTok video, he exhorted the people to vote as he awarded a big victory for Republicans. Listen in. Hi, Republicans. We're doing really well. If you're in line, stay in line. Don't let them take you off that line. Vote. Stay on the line. They can't do anything about it. And vote. We're going to win it big. Thank you. However, he's also cast his doubt in voting on a post on his truth social site. Trump claimed massive cheating in Philadelphia and Pennsylvania and Detroit in Michigan. Remember, both of these are swing states. But he was shortly shut by Philadelphia City Commissioner Seth Bluestein, who replied to Trump saying that he's spreading disinformation. On the other hand, Kamala Harris had a special message for the first time voters as she listened to some of the messages from Gen Z. Isn't it? This is my first presidential election. My first time Gen Z voter in the state of Georgia. First time voter from California. I'm so excited to vote for you. I love your plan for an opportunity economy. Accessibility to healthcare for women. There's so much at stake here. For myself, I see a leader in her. Excited to be able to vote for someone who believes in equality and rights for all. Vote her as well. Mm. I love Gen Z. Okay. Thank you all for voting. You know your power, your power through your voice, through your vote. And for anyone who hasn't voted yet, I'm telling you, you're going to enjoy the process. It'll make you feel really good about just reminding you, this is your country, this is your future, and you have a right to weigh in on where we're headed. So get out and vote. I'll see you later. All right, we just heard what uh, Kamala Harris had to say and right ahead of that, of course, Donald Trump as well. But it's going to be very interesting to see how this battle is going to pan out, considering the fact that it is a tight race. Having said that, um, these are, of course, final hours of voting. It's clearly D-Day in the United States. Polling, in fact, has closed in most states and the first results have already started to come in. What is that looking like? Let me quickly tell you, Trump has uh, taken an early lead against Kamala Harris um, in, of course, the high state presidential match. According to early vote studies, uh, Trump has secured wins in red states, that is of Kentucky, Indiana, West Virginia, and also in his home state, Florida. Uh, but let's tell you, as far as Kamala Harris is concerned, has sealed Democratic strongholds that includes uh, Maryland, Vermont, Massachusetts, and Delaware. Now, as far as this neck-to-neck -neck contest is concerned, let's uh, figure right now and break that down for you in terms of what key issues are looking like. We're going to uh, break that down for you on our screens in terms of what that is looking like for the United States. Um, of course, with the fact that key issues for American voters, one would be education, but under that would be school funding, uh, student debt. This has been a talking point on multiple uh, occasions, as well as college access. So that would be the number one issue as America decides today. Let's look at the other uh, aspect of a key issue. Healthcare, affordable access. Once again, another talking point as far as probably how when voters decide their mandate today, this would be uh, one of the key pointers that they would keep in mind considering when we're talking about healthcare, you're also talking about drug prices and mental health support. 
Uh, more importantly, while we also talk for, about key issues for American voters, let's break that down for you in terms of more pointers. But education and healthcare, of course, uh, being the prime aspect of them deciding economy. Uh, again, jobs and unemployment, rising prices and taxes. This has also been uh, in terms of how they're looking at it while we see about campaigns run up to the elections of what Trump made of it as opposed to Kamala Harris. So that would be education, healthcare, and economy in terms of uh, immigration. This is, of course, uh, the kind of stark viewpoints that they've had. We'll also break that down for you. But let's quickly talk about immigration in terms of border security, citizenship pathways, and refugee policies. Uh, that's another important aspect as to how voters will be looking at and, of course, deciding on those factors when they go to cast their mandate. That is, having said that, immigration is another aspect. So these are key issues, of course, for American voters uh, while they, of course, go ahead and make that uh, decision today. Uh, but early leads, of course, like I was saying previously, suggesting what that's looking like for Trump, who has secured wins, is what we're given to understand in red states. That would include Kentucky, Indiana, West Virginia, and also in his home state of Florida. On the other hand, Kamala Harris has sealed Democratic strongholds of Vermont, Maryland, Massachusetts, and Delaware. Shreya Vadya, my colleague, joins me for more. Shreya, very good morning. This is clearly the D-Day, all eyes on what that's looking like. But what is the latest that we gather at the moment? Considering it's a neck-to-neck -neck race, but we're given to understand, you know, in certain places, of course, Trump has secured wins in red states of Kentucky, Indiana, West Virginia, and also in his home state, Florida, where, uh, as Kamala Harris has sealed Democratic strongholds of Vermont, Maryland, Massachusetts, and Delaware as well. But what more can you tell us as to where this race stands at the moment? Good morning and good morning to all our viewers watching Mirror now. Yes, indeed, it is a crucial day, not just for the Americans, but the entire world has its eyes upon who wins, Kamala Harris or Donald Trump. It is a crucial American election uh, and it is going to decide which way the world moves forward and the geopolitical uh, situation moves forward. But as far as the results are concerned, Nivedana, uh, you know, the polling stations are now still closing in at some counties at some states across the United States of America. And like you mentioned, uh, you know, the red and blue strongholds, the, uh, the states of Indiana, Kentucky, uh, Florida, all of these have been strongholds of the Republican Party. And these are early projections that are coming in. These are not the final results. Every state goes through its own mechanism of counting votes. That is still underway. So right now, what we're getting to know are the early projections. And these are re Republican strongholds where Donald Trump is leading and is leading in a big way. Uh, similarly, for the Blues, the Democrats, their strongholds of New York, Washington, is where Kamala Harris is seen leads. But overall projections, Nevedna, seems to be in favor of the Republican Party and seems uh, that Donald Trump and his supporters will perhaps have a happy, happy day ahead uh, because that is where, um, you know, all eyes are on, the final results. You have to wait and watch, of course. These are very, very early projections. It's going to be a long day and night in America as far as the results are concerned. Uh, but right now, uh, if we go by what is being projected by exit polls and pollsters across America, across the 50 states of the United States of America, uh, is the fact that the Reds, the Republican Party, might be leading overall. Nivedana.